Hey, it's Joe Lines, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about splitting controls in Auto Hockey Studio. So, Auto Hockey Studio, it's a free editing tool from uh, Maestrieth, and it's written in Auto Hockey. Anyway, it's pretty cool. And so, um, I'm gonna make these series, by the way. So, this first one is on these are these are um, Scintilla controls that are on the screen, and so this is how when you install Auto Hotkey, this is how I think the default shows up. Um, I'm pretty sure, and. Uh, I, of course, customized mine, but I think I reverted back to how it normally comes out when it installs. So anyway, you have the, uh, this is the Project Explorer up here and the Code Explorer, I think, down here. Um, they're, they're pretty cool because you can see, you can dig in and look at some things in your, fun in your, in your scripts, right, and see what's in it. Personally, I don't care for the, the prod, uh, sorry, the Code Explorer, um, so I like to remove that. And then um, the Project Explorer, like, let, let me see, I can right click and I can hit Remove Control. And then depending on how they were added, so this one split up this way. But then, of course, this is a lot of wasted space, although I do have a lot of my library, right? So if I want it. But, of course, why would I want that expanded? Because it's in my library for a reason, like, so I don't have to find it and see it. Um, and actually, I want to mention another um, tool in the in that um, isn't so obvious because it's not default built into there. But... Um, I have a little function, uh, a little hot string. Let me let me do my. So this will, um, and I I don't know if I have to have something in here or not, but I'm gonna put text equal. Oops. Hello world. Um, the hot string, of course, you don't have, but this debug, I believe the function is. I know the functionality is built into Studio. I don't know if if um yeah it must be. It's in it's a function in Studio, so you'll have it um. And I don't need this message box, but when I run it, save it and run it. Notice this output window up down below here, right? And so I can dump text, whatever text I want, into this output window. Um, Make sure it's actually out of this because in Sight I use this a lot, and it was one of the things I really missed when I switched to Studio. And so he he just repurposed the debug window, and so I can easily dump text to it. Um, these are the the commands and the functions are sorry parameters for the functions um, for the different things you can do with it I'm not going to get into that but um, what I, I like having it here however this still this is way too big for me right so rather than doing that um, what I do is let me remove this control and then I'm going to put it here so I'm gonna I'm gonna split the control and I'm gonna put it on the right and I have to tell it which one I want the project Explorer and so now, this is how I get my little window structure, right? So I can move this over here. Um, and, and now I have a lot of room for my code. Um, there's, um, I have my output window available in my product explorer. And depending on, you know, if I need to see a little more, I can move it up a little bit more, right? Depending what's in there. Um, now let's do two other quick things. So let's say I wanted to open a, another, a different script than what I'm in and have it beneath this one. So I can, um, I can right click and say split control. And in that case, I'm gonna put one below and I'm gonna put the scintilla window. And so now I can click on a different script and I could be in two wholly different scripts or I can be in the same script. Like actually, let me get the, the top one to that test also. Did it not click, there we go. And uh, anyway, you can, there it goes, now it's updating. Oh, that's test. What was the other one? What's this one? Try and catch, sorry, okay, my bad. So now I'm in, I can be at the, the top of this one and I can be at the bottom of this one and still see it, right? Or I can remove control and I can split it to the right. i not remove control. Um, split control, put it on the right. And again, I put in the scintilla control. And so then I can have, this is, when it's the same script, usually I want to be like above and below. So to me, it makes logical sense to put the other script beneath the other control beneath it. When I'm in a different script, I like to put it on the right. Um, and of course, I could actually, um, I could, I think I can come in here and say now, um, split control and put one on the right and put another one in there. And then I can have three files, right, side by side. So it's a really cool functionality. And when you're done, it's just right clicking and getting rid of them, right? So um, that's... You know, because I saw it in here, I'm going to say split control, and I'm going to put above, and I'm going to put toolbar. Now, this is the default toolbar. In a different video, I'm going to talk through how you can add um, 
different buttons, things you want to do. Um, it's it's one of the things that that Mister and I uh, I wouldn't say disagree on. We just we use them differently. He doesn't like um, using menus, and he doesn't use the mouse button, and so he doesn't have these by default. I think a lot of people, when you're first starting out with the tool, it's really helpful to have them there, and then later you start learning the hotkeys. You don't have to use them, but um, so I used to have a lot of menus, um, menu buttons, and then I got rid of them because I remembered most of the hotkeys, but um, I'll make a separate video on that. Anyway, thanks. Cheers.